Welcome back everybody to another video and in this video we are going to be talking about something that has been on my mind for a little bit and and honestly I thought it would just be better to clear the air and talk about what actually happened. Now a couple days ago on Friday at 6 p.m. EST, Hypixel hosted a Skyward's Insane tournament. Now, a lot of people were asking me if I was going to play in this tournament, and I, for the most part, stayed silent because I wanted it to be a surprise, and I wanted to do well in the tournament and just, you know, kind of surprise everyone and have a good time. Now, unfortunately, this completely backfired and kind of went the other direction when, right after the Skyward's tournament ended, I actually got wiped from the leaderboard. Now, a lot of people have been spreading misinformation about this situation, saying that I got banned, uh, I got wiped for boosting, or I cheated, and I just want to say all of this is completely false. This is not a big deal, guys, don't worry. It's really sad how a lot of people are spreading misinformation and making it seem like I cheated or got banned for boosting or anything along those lines. I would never do that, and the people that watch my content know I would never do that. I'm actually about to quit grinding Skyrim at 50 star anyway, so I would honestly have no reason to do that, and it just doesn't seem logical. Last Lastly, I just want to make it clear, my teammate is not banned either. Neither of us are banned on Hypixel. Obviously, since I didn't get wiped for cheating or boosting, there's gotta be some reason. Now, as far as I can tell, we were never given an actual explanation for the reason my teammate and I were wiped, but obviously there has to be a reason it wouldn't be for none, and the reason is probably because the person I played with was actually comp banned in the past. Now, this person's comp ban, aka competitive ban, happened over a year ago, so I didn't think this would be a big problem, um, and there's a lot of context revolving this situation, but before I get into that, I just want to say I do apologize, I take responsibility, I knew this player has been banned in the past and I decided to team with him anyways because I thought he was good, I definitely didn't think this through, and um, even though it can be difficult knowing everything about someone's history, I should have been more careful, and that's definitely on me, I'll do my best to be more careful in the future. I'm definitely not going to be playing any more tournaments that have multiple players on my team unless I I make sure to do a background check on basically everybody, and I'll be more careful in the future. Anyways, now I'm going to go into what actually happened and uh, kind of clear the air and give some more perspective on the truth. Now, before I get into this part of the video, I'm going to make it clear that I am not going to drop the name of the person I teamed with. Um, if you know, you know, I just don't want to be responsible for sending the person any more hate because this situation and this part of the video is going to call them out a little bit and show some points that may make them very unhappy and just show something that they probably don't want being seen. So before I say anything, please do not send this person hate if you know who it is. And if you don't know who it is, don't try to go out of your way to find out. Um, that's just not the intention of this video. I just want to clear the air. Anyways, let's get into it. So basically how all this started was Hypixel themselves tweeted out that they were doing a Skyrim's doubles tournament. And below that, someone pinged me on Twitter and said they expect great things. Now to this, I commented, I don't even have a teammate and my teammate responded that he could play with me and he has actually won a Skywars doubles tournament in the past so I thought it would be a great idea. I added him on discord and we started talking a little bit. What I didn't realize was I was getting myself into a load of trouble. Around a week before the tournament, he told me that he had been banned in the past for cheating, and I'm gonna be honest, a lot of people have been banned in the past for cheating, I don't hold that stuff against them, he told me it was over a year ago, and that was completely fine, but he actually lied to me, and he also told me that he was gonna play on his alt, because in the original Skywars tournament, he'd already won the Blaze Pet. The Blaze Pet is a top 3 tournament reward that is worth a lot on Hypixel, and he actually won the Blaze Pet in a different tournament before, so he told me that he he was going to plan an alt um, so that he could get two of them, and he actually didn't tell me that he had a competitive ban until later. Now, skip to the night before the tournament, one of my friends DM'd me and told me that, that the person I was playing with had actually been competitively banned in the past, and in contrary, what I was told was that he just wanted another Blaze pet on a different account. If I knew that this person has been competitively banned a week before the tournament started, I definitely wouldn't have played with him, but at this point, we'd done multiple practice sessions, we'd built synergy off of that, we played a lot, we talked a lot, and while I contemplated not playing with him at all when I found out about this, the same friend that told me that he got comp banned in the past told me that I would have been fine and reassured me that I was fine to play with him in the tournament, and with that being said, I completely overlooked this and made the mistake of playing with him. I just want to make it clear that throughout the tournament, I was completely manipulated into thinking that what we were doing was completely fine, and obviously I should have used my better judgment, and I am responsible for that, but this isn't entirely on me, and I do want to 
provide context because a lot of people could definitely do this in my perspective and it doesn't necessarily make me wanting to play with a cheater or going out of my way to have any bad intentions but in reality I literally just I literally just made a simple mistake that ended up getting blown completely out of proportion and I definitely think people should know the whole truth about this. Throughout the days of the tournament, I asked my teammate multiple times if he'd gotten in trouble in the past for ban evading, um, if ban evading was something you could get in trouble for, if he cheated in the past tournament, if he did this, if he did that. I even asked him for his punishment logs, and he actually only told me he had one competitive ban, which was a complete lie. He also had two other bans, but those were over three to four years ago, so I didn't think much of it. As you can see in this screenshot, a well-respected member of the Skyrus community, Sir Hingelot, replied to my tweet, basically saying that my teammate had been banned multiple times for masters by playing on alts by playing on his main comp band three times or more and i actually didn't know anything about this um the only comp band i was aware about was the one that happened in 2020 and besides that i literally didn't think he got in trouble for anything else overall i didn't realize how manipulative this entire situation was because my teammate literally told me that the people that were warning me were just being dumb and that i shouldn't be scared and it's just really disappointing that i uh trusted him instead of trusting my gut and listen to him. Now, another thing I want to add is one other person did DM me warning me about this situation, but he actually DM me after I'd already played 80 games. He did reach out to me and I told him I'd played 80 games already, so he warned me that playing with my teammate was a bad idea, but at this point we'd played 80 games already. I'd put over 10 hours into the tournament and uh, we were already on leaderboards, so at that point I thought might as well just finish our games. Another reason I took this pretty lightly is because even even this friend reassured me and told me it would have been fine and I didn't think much of it because we'd already played so many games but I definitely wouldn't have played with him because this entire situation looking back was just so so awful and manipulative. Now the reason I'm going out of my way to talk about all of this even though I could just go on with my day and avoid the drama is because I am retiring from 50 star in Skyward soon and I wanted to leave with a good impression in the community. Um, I had a lot of respect for people that I know from Socked like Verma and some other people and they did for me as well but I feel like a lot of those people have probably lost respect for me now and I think that a lot of this situation could have been avoided if the whole truth was out in the first place. I talked to a lot of people and Aralis which is Verma's guild and I told one of them the whole story and he completely 180'd on his perspective and agreed with me after I told him what happened. Obviously he stood by the fact that he thinks that I should have avoided playing with them in the first place but he acknowledged that I had been manipulated pretty hard in this situation and and honestly i never would have done anything like this if i had the full context beforehand because honestly this situation is so dumb i do apologize once again for playing with him in the first place that's on me at the end of the day i'm responsible for my own actions and uh, I can't change that now, but I'll be more careful in the future. Um, I do want to say I really would appreciate you guys not sending hate to anyone. Try not to hate on me. Um, try not to hate on the person that I played with. Uh, I know it's going to be a little bit difficult because honestly, he lied to me multiple times and made my life really hard recently. He put my entire reputation on the line and honestly, I don't even know why, but it is what it is. I really appreciate the people that reached out to me. I really appreciate my friends and I'm not going to be taking a break from YouTube and Twitch. I don't feel the need to. I have been in a bit of a poor mental state recently because of this whole situation. I made the mistake of starting this whole thing off with a twit longer and I got completely bashed for it, but I realized that a lot of the people that went against me were definitely valid and not in the wrong because I failed to give a good perspective on twit longer about what actually happened and it's just really hard to do that over text without tone indicators, without the full context, so I thought it would be better to go over in a video. Anyways, that's all I have to say for this video. I hope everyone has a great day and peace out.